hey guys welcome back so in this video i will talk about the parallel the parallel method of stream api so the name itself says that parallel parallel means your all stream of object will get processed in the parallel and the performance wise it is very very fast okay but yes uh, everything has you know uh, some pros and cons so here also when you have let's say huge number of stream of object your cpu utilization will be very high so you need to make sure that what is the cpu utilization and second thing is it's not thread safe so again when you are working with the parallel you need to see that everything right so but in general when you just has to just process the data okay you have let's say just a read call okay so in that case parallel is really good and it will process your record very fast here you will not able to see that but one example i will show you how in parallel the time will be less and in case of sequential the time it takes more okay so if you look at here as i already spoke about the stream of like there are there are a lot of uh, methods through which i can create a stream of object so when i say a stream of and in double quote when i will supply comma separate strings basically this will give me a stream of a string okay it will give me a stream of a string so this you can do for integer also double also boolean also float also for everything you will get a stream and in angle bracket you will get corresponding object so why we convert the st a string into a stream or integer into a stream because i can make use of the stream api right whatever came as a part of java 8 so i have converted to the stream okay and i'm just doing that stream dot parallel okay when you say stream dot parallel the return type here also is going to be the stream of a string guys okay since the return type is the same a variable is the uh, same so i don't need to re slice let me just change the variable name so that you know i can explain you what is the outcome you are getting here so place mouse over here create local variable see here also a uh, stream of a string okay so since it is a stream of a string and when i say is parallel so this is called parallel okay and this is is parallel so is parallel return type is the boolean guys okay this will tell you like whether your stream is parallel or not whereas this when you call a stream dot parallel okay that runs your all uh, stream of object in the parallel thread okay now let me run that if i'll run that answer you will get true because you are just looking for each parallel yes it is true because uh, before calling each parallel you have called parallel which means your stream became a parallel let me tell you i mean i will show you like how this is beneficial okay now look at here uh, when you look at here here we have a stream of a string okay and i am running through for each loop okay i am running through for each loop which means this is sequential and for each loop you know that this will take consumer so one by one your whatever string data you have in the stream it will get assigned to this variable x okay and after arrow mark whatever implementations you will have it will get executed so one by one your data will get printed right whereas in the second example you have a stream one okay you called parallel so when you call the parallel your entire stream of object will get processed in the parallel way okay and when you say call for each loop now what happens when you call a parallel you cannot make sure that in what sequence your output will come okay so your sequence of output you cannot predict in case of parallel but yes processing will be very very fast and this is one of the very good advantage of of using uh, stream api you can process your record in the parallel okay now you can look at here on this stream when i call dot parallel okay which means my stream is going to run in the parallel and the for each on that parallel will work in the parallel way so, but only the thing is you will not get the sequence of output so if i run this look at here this is your for each loop without parallel this is without parallel this is with parallel so if you look at here this is with parallel your sequence is not same guys right because all the thread got processed same time 
okay i will show you one example also you'll understand very well like how processing happens but look at here the sequence is not same because it's a parallel and there uh, in the in the first one in this one your sequence is same right so performance wise parallel is very fast and this is like you know uh, quite quite performance wise this is like quite slow but this guy is the thread safe this guy is not a thread safe right now the third example we will see that in third example here if you look at there are two way i am running that one is the normal and one is the parallel okay so this is the normal way and this is the parallel way you are running it okay better i will write like this and this is your parallel so if you look at int stream dot range closed what does mean by that so int stream so int stream there is actually an interface called int stream so int stream when you do control o you have you know a lot of method so basically guys whenever the stream word come whatever api i taught in the stream the same api will be applicable for any of the stream either it is a int stream double stream long stream any stream the same method will work out so do not get scared right because one by one i am covering all the method so by the time i will finish all the stream api you will be good with any stream okay so this stream has a method called range closed in stream dot range closed press control click on range closed so if you look at the range closed method what is the return type of this method the return type of this method is a int stream and it takes two argument a start inclusive and an inclusive so both are inclusive so let's say i want the data between two range okay and what did i want i want in int stream data so when i want int stream data between two range i can use this range closed method because the return type is the int stream right right so here same thing i did range closed 1 to 10 return type is the int stream and on this range i am calling a for each loop when i am calling a for each loop and then system out this is method reference println so how this works is uh, in this so th basically this is a consumer okay so when you write like this method reference println which means the, when this for each loop will run one by one the, your object will get consumed by this println method okay so one by one one two three four till ten will get printed like this now this is parallel so in parallel the same thing only the difference if you see here here is range two dot parallel and then for each and then again this guy will get printed again one by one so if you look at the processing wise for the first for each you will get the sequence you can see that one to ten right in the parallel if you look at the sequence is not followed because it's a parallel thread right then now you might be wondering like then why should i use parallel see the one is it it runs in the parallel the second is performance wise it is really fast let me let me show you why i am saying that performance wise it is very fast let's see that what i did here is i'm writing that a start dot current time in the milliseconds then process the record and then in system output print ln again you know a start again you take the time in the millisecond and you do minus like whenever it was started so this will give us the time in the millisecond then again in case of parallel the same start i am re in slicing with the current time in the millisecond so this start again uh, run this uh, loop in the parallel and then print the time so let's run that so this is very small data you you might not see the difference but then i will show you with the large data so let me do one thing let me append this with the let me write here parallel time taken is equal to and copy this and let me write here plus why it is complaining about okay because of this guy yeah because you know i'm doing that subtraction so it should come inside the parenthesis 
right now this is sequential time taken so let me do a uh, thousand and let me do thousand okay right so i'm just processing it thousand and thousand and okay thousand thousand now let's run that okay see parallel time taken is 30 mil 13 millisecond guys you can see that it's a 13 milliseconds scroll up it was here this is normal so in normal uh, when you go what is the time taken so parallel was 13 seconds sorry yeah see here sequential is 56 millisecond so that's the difference right sequential time taken is 56 millisecond whereas parallel took how much parallel took 13 milliseconds we got it so in parallel processing so if i will copy this from here and now if i will paste here this is my sequential time okay now i'll go to the again console and i will pick up the parallel one which is 13 milliseconds guys okay it's a huge performance so you can see that it's around you know four times performance wise right so that is the reason whenever you have a lot of data processing and uh, when you want to do in the parallel you can go for the parallel because this will give you a very good performance number right you can see that this is 56 millisecond and this is 13 milliseconds right the last example of is parallel so if you look at here there's a list i'm adding the data to the list right so i'm adding that string data to the list and then this is there's a run method okay there are there's a run method so in first run method i'm doing that list dot stream so since it is a list i can call a stream and dot sequential sequential means it will run in the sequence then again in the run method so guys this is the run method okay run method takes argument which is of type a stream of a string so you know that when you call on this list when you call the stream what is the return type so let's say if i will call list dot stream okay what is the return type i am going to get i am going to get a stream of a string of right that's how it is okay yeah so return type you will get a stream of a string right so you can look at here i have designed one run method which will take a stream of a string so in the first example i'm calling sequential then i'm calling a parallel and then i'm again i'm calling a parallel okay now look at the run method so i wanted to show you like how multiple threads you know work at the same time so in this run method it will take a stream a stream of a stream and in the run method i'm running a for each loop okay so the first for each loop which i will run i will run on the sequential so it will go in the sequence though you don't write sequential it will go as a sequence the second one will go as a parallel and on that stream so i am so here guys if i'll call here let's say parallel still your uh, output is not changing okay still it is a stream of a string that is the reason i am able to write here parallel and sequential because your this parallel method and sequential method is output is going to be the stream of a string right so since it is a stream i can call a for each loop and you know that for each loop i can write a consumer so s so one by one your data will get assigned to the s and then i have one println local time dot now so i'm just printing the now value s okay and what is the thread so thread has a method called current thread right thread dot current thread so whatever current thread will run this it will get printed thread dot current thread current thread is a static method okay in the thread class so this guy you can see that it's a static method and then i'm calling the net na uh, name 
so for every thread i'll print the name and then i will just have you know try catch so this guy will just sleep for 200 millisecond right so that we can see that how it works so let's run this okay now since you have a run method you can clearly see that how sequential and parallel works okay look at here see sequential one by one now when the parallel time came see one shot zoom okay sequential see running parallel when parallel time came in one shot everything got executed now i would like to show you something see in uh, let me first run again okay let me again i would like to show you like how it works so sequential what happens is one by one it will start you can see that sequential now when the parallel will come in one shot running parallel done okay there are two parallel so first let me comment the second parallel i don't want to run too many parallels uh, one parallel is enough to explain so again let me run that sequential is running you can see that and then parallel everything is done in one shot so look at here you can see that i'm printing the thread name see thread name is different right 13 2 4 8 9 12 which means till 15 how many thread got created you know till 15 like 15 thread got created apart from 15 thread okay you can see that few thread so thread one okay again uh, thread one work was done again thread one got executed here you can see that thread one the same thread two times got invoked okay similarly two time thread five got invoked and then you can see that other threads yeah so like uh, one thing is clear like two times thread five and then thread one two times and then one the main thread like main thread also got executed one time okay and here you can see that the multiple thread was processing your stream of data got it whereas in the sequential everything was processed by the main thread okay in the sequential but in the parallel everything was processed by the multiple threads because i, I was printing the thread dot current thread dot get name so that way I will come to know that what thread is processing what data so you understood now in the parallel everything is getting processed by the multiple threads okay that is the reason performance wise parallel is always fast whereas in case of sequential this data is getting processed one by one right and now you now you understood like why I was saying that when you call parallel which means it will get processed same time because I'm printing the thread name also and you can see that the multiple thread got spawned okay when the multiple thread got spawned uh, all the thread will uh, actually pick up the task and then it processed your data but yes there are a few threads which which actually processed more than one record now again how this thread comes up and goes off it's not in your control this is all you know controlled by the scheduler thread scheduler so that we should not put a brain also but yes, if you want to overwrite, let's say you want to overwrite, you want to spawn only three thread or four thread, yeah, there is a configurations, you can do that, okay? There is a configurations in some fork join, I mean fork thread con concurrent configurations is there. You can Google it, you will get it. So there is a configurations where you can limit the thread, like how many thread you want to spawn through parallel also, you can limit that. So let's say instead of 20, so I was doing the 20, let me do, let me go and change to 30 so if now there is a 30 record in the list so sequential will take time one by one processing then parallel you know when the parallel will start see it's a started and over we didn't see that when got started and got over so you can you can see it here lot of threads got created guys you know thread 15 and all that so basically if you look at how many thread uh, i would i would say minimum 15 thread got created and then two times your main thread so main thread is here and then main thread is here so total how many thread 17 thread got created okay 17 thread and then if you look at some threads picked up some thread has done more than one task right 
so basically you know a lot of threads got created and your stream got processed right so that's how it is that's how parallel works guys and that is the reason performance wise it is very very fast fast with this i will close the video and in next video i will talk about other method of the stream api thank you guys thank you for watching this